Let us now learn about the cotton textile industry. How it was developed from the prior Indian independence to the modern day. The, in the ancient period also we have a good quality of cotton available in our country. So as the time passed on, the hand spinning mills got replaced with the hand loom mills. But after the 18th century, these hand spinning mills and hand loom mills are being dominated by the power loom. They started to get a stiff competition during the colonial period from the England's mill cotton because the mill production is in very large in number and the people those are working in India used to produce everything within their own efforts at very very less available cost because here the machine does more work when compared to the person and they used to produce in bulk in amount and that's why we could not face the competition and they gave a stiff competition and it became a big setback for the Indian cotton during that period. Though Indians have good capacity and good skill to make cotton and fine quality of cotton but still we were resisted with the bulk amount which we got from the Manchester uh, machinery and inputs of the mills which were located there. Uh, moving on to the historical background, in 1854 the first textile mill was established in Mumbai. In 16th century we have seen the cotton being exported from India to the other countries but it got break during this period and after the second world war when the during the war period the economy of Britain came down and that gave a boost for the Indian cotton industries to regenerate themselves and now to understand our capability of production in India we have nearly 1600 cotton mills located and these are being 80 percent owned by the private individuals and only the 20 percent come under the hands of the public industry sector and most of the industries are located in the parts of Gujarat and Maharashtra even today but during the colonial period also we have most of the industries initially got established in Gujarat and Maharashtra what are the factors that have contributed for the establishment of Gujarat and Maharashtra as a prime locations for cotton industries the major factors are raw cotton available and then market at very close by transport facilities and then also available of less cost leave cheap labor nearby places from Maharashtra and the other states of Rajasthan where people used to migrate to the nearby states to get their employment and the farmers workers cotton ball pullers spinning weaving dyeing packing uh, this kind of employment started to generate more in gujarat and in maharashtra because of the location of the cotton industries because we need farmers to do the farming workers to work in the fields cotton ball pullers this is a special job which came only after we have the cotton mills got established and spinning to spin the machines weaving to do the cotton weaving dyeing putting the color for that one packing packing a finished product and then it in this way it has provided many kind of occupations which are not known to the indians till that time even though they know they don't know that it can be given employment for them they used to do only in their own charaka and all but now it has become a very large scale product of work where you can earn something by doing this work that's what gandhiji has rightly remarked and focused always on spindling the cotton weaving machine and the countries which buy cotton or which import cotton from India are Japan, USA, UK, Russia, France, East Asian countries like Nepal, Sri Lanka and also the Afro countries which have started to take cotton which increase the market of India and the quality of cotton which we get from India is very very good quality and the finest quality in the world. So this has created a wide market for the Indian cotton a lot and that is the reason why India has established many many spindling mills and all after China India is the only country which has 34 million spindles standing at the second place in the world in production though India has produced given occupation for many people India has been given employment opportunities for many people but the contribution in the world wide market of the Indian product especially the cotton textile is only 4% which is still very very less according to the Indian capacity because Indians are having nearly 34 million spindles which can produce a very large amount but 
we are facing a very very stiff competition from the international scenario of the products what we are getting and they are par in good product of quality when compared to us and the other deadlocks which are hindering us to get the development is power supply machinery which needs to be upgraded and also we have this shortage of the skilled labor who can produce more amount of output in this way we face many many difficulties but still cotton textile industry is a very very fast growing industry in the indian industry that too in the agro based category of industries let's have a brief recap of this one in the ancient period also india had the cotton textile industry but it was in a very small scale industry during that period the machinery which was used was hand spinning and hand loom industry and later in the 18th century we got the technology got implemented for that one so it added on for having power loom machinery coming into our country and then we could not face a stiff competition what we got from england during the industrial period or colonialization period because machinery has been to be competed with the human work man can produce maximum 10 a month but machines used to produce hundreds per day so we could not able to meet the competition and available at very less cost where man made goods are costly and made it skillfully but people would like to prefer to go for the less affordable cost items so in this way it gave a big bang for the hand made goods or the indian products in competition with the england products and then now moving on to understand how it got in india established the textile mills in 1854 at mumbai the first textile mill was established and later now today we have nearly 1600 cotton mills accommodating nearly 80% of them are under the control of the private individuals well 20% coming under the government individuals and today most of the industries are located in gujarat and maharashtra it's not only today way back from the industrialization period or the colonialization period also we have many industries got established at the prime locations of gujarat and maharashtra what are the factors that have contributed for the growth of industries at these prime locations of gujarat and maharashtra the factors which have might be contributing for the growth are raw cotton market availability transportation facilities and the labor available at very less cost skill and the unskilled labor it does not only provide opportunity for these people but also gave a new chapter for different kinds of jobs which have emerged here like the farmers coming in workers cotton ball pullers spinning weaving dyeing workers packing workers have emerged and like this it has given a new chapter new categories of jobs for the people in and around the industry this has provided a large scale employment by giving various kinds of jobs for them and the countries which export from india the cotton are japan usa uk russia and france while in the southeast asian countries are nepal and sri lanka the afro countries are also acquiring cotton from india so it proves that india is having a very very large market india is the second largest country after china having 34 million spindles located in india and moving on to understand what is the contribution of india in the worldwide trade in its contribution in the percentages we have only 4% in the world contribution which is regarding very less when it compares to the capacity of india and the deadlocks or the hindrances what india is facing is the power supply lack of sufficient amount of power supply and the lack of the latest equipment machinery which needs to be upgraded according to the needs and the most important contribution is we need more and more skill labor because we need to produce more and more amount of output with the less number of time period available for us so these are some of the hindrances which are blocking india to have a stiff competition from the other parts of the world but still india is fighting for our place and india is standing at second place which having more number of spindles located fine quality of cotton is produced from the indian region so cotton textile industries are also contributing on a very large scale to make indians proud and also to provide employment for larger section of people not only in agriculture but also in the textile industry we are providing large number of industry opportunities as well as employment opportunities for various people at various corners of india if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus